More than 1200 years ago, in the year 700 AD, a little boy was born in the greater Iran, in the city of Khwarazm in modern-day Uzbekistan. It is in the Islamic era, and that's why his full name becomes Muhammad M. Musa al-Kharazmi, and he's known as al-Kharazmi. It's interesting to know, in Latin, he has a different name. al kharizmi has basically turned into al -Gharitmi. You should know that the foundation of mathematics started from the numbers 0 through 9 which originated from India, but it was incomplete until al Khwarazmi completed the number system. Since in this time the entire Middle East was in Islamic hands, the number system passed as the Arabic numerals, even though the mathematician that refined the number system was Persian. The same number system made its way all the way to Spain and that's how it entered Europe. But of course, Europe didn't accept it at that time, which we'll explain later why. Al-Kharazmi was not only a master mathematician, he was an expert in anything you could think of, especially in geography and astronomy. At that time, he was one of the well-known geography experts in the world and pretty much mapped the modern world at that time and showed where everything is to the population. This is not easy because you didn't have airplanes and satellites where you can scan the world. You had to use mathematics with the help of astronomy to figure out where different things are. Another field that Khwarazmi was an expert in was astronomy and he had mapped the sky at that time, especially in terms of the planets of the solar system, he identified the planets of Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Even though he was an expert in astronomy, an expert in geography, but he loved mathematics and he was obsessed with it. He knew to be a master in geography and astronomy, it all starts with mathematics. You need to know math to solve both of these issues. At this time, most people didn't know what math was and didn't know how numbers worked. That's why Khwarazmi decided to dumb math down so any normal Joe can understand it. He started off with a book named Al-Jabr, which is known as Algebra. This book put it in simple term how to use the number system 0 through 9 to do basic math. We don't know what to say, did Kharazmi invent these numbers or discover them? Because it's a saying that these numbers belong to the universe and if you want to know the universe, you need to understand math. Another way you could look at it is that math is the language of the universe. So if you speak this language, you could understand it. This is very true because modern scientists and astronomers use math to solve a lot of the problems, especially in the sky. But of course, they have a lot of modern equipment and technology to do so. So this is the reason that al Khwarazmi decided that mathematics is probably the most important thing in the world. And every person needs to understand it. Since Kharazmi was obsessed with knowledge, especially math, he would buy every single book from everywhere, from the Greeks, the Romans, the ancient Persians, the Indian, and the Chinese. In a very old Hindu book, he sees something that he had never seen before. What he was seeing was basically the decimal point. He realized that between normal numbers, there are numbers where you can put decimal numbers, like 1.2, 1.1 or 1.01 and an unlimited amount of numbers in between the numbers. So this is when he realized it's not only 0 through 9 anymore because there's more numbers in between numbers than numbers itself. When the algebra book gets published to the world right here, especially the Middle East, it enlights a lot of people because this was the most advanced place in the world at this time, which is also considered the Greater Iran. 
If right now you go to Silicon Valley to be enlightened and get a degree, back then you would have to go to the Middle East because that's where the mathematicians and scientists went. And in Europe, it's the Dark Ages where they kill each other for no reason. In the year 1100 AD, about 300 years after Al-Khwarezmi, it was the first time that a British found the book of Al-Jab that Al-Khwarezmi had written. You could say England was one of the very first countries that escaped the Dark Ages from the rest of Europe. And it had a lot to do because it was an island. This is when Al-Khwarezmi got a Latin name and that's when they started calling him Algorithmi. The Brits were extremely dumbfounded because they couldn't realize that 300 years ago there was a man that knew all this and came up with all this information. It is true because most of Europe was going through the dark ages and they were not interested in mathematics, scientists and smart people. At first we mentioned that the 0 through 9 Arabic numerals entered Spain and it entered the rest of Europe. But the Europeans would not accept this number system and they believed it to be sinful because it came from Muslims. So that's why they continue to use Roman numerals which are extremely complicated, especially when you want to do math. The number system does not even have a zero which makes it even more difficult to work with. If you truly want to solve a math problem using Roman numerals, you're gonna have a very hard time. It's like shooting yourself in the foot for no reason. It was at this time that the English finally accepted the Arabic numerals because they knew it was a much better system than the Roman numerals. No, it was Italy, especially the city of Florence, which was one of the very first cities to leave the Dark Ages and enter the Renaissance which we've made a video on. When the knowledge of this number system and algebra is going through all of Europe, Al-Khwarezmi is kind of forgotten and nobody truly knows where all this information came from and what algebra came from as well. And that's another reason that the numeral system is called Arabic, even though it originated in India and it was refined by a Persian. The British only knew one name from Al-Khwarezmi and that's Algorithmi. Nowadays, everybody knows what an algorithm is, but what does it truly mean? Algorithm is basically a process or a set of rules to be followed in calculations or other problem solving operations, especially by a computer. The first computer that basically use algorithm or the system we're talking about is the Enigma cracking code machine that Alan Turing made in World War II. And it was the reason that the Germans lost World War II. Nowadays, the technology and algorithm is present in pretty much everything we use especially our computers and phones. Like for example, when you enter the address in your phone's GPS, it works with the help of algorithm to give you the correct way and passage to get to your destination. Or when you search something in Google, it uses algorithm from the search engine to find the things you're looking for. When you open YouTube or your YouTube app, Algorithm helps the app to find the videos that you will be interested in so you don't scroll for hours. This type of algorithm basically works with personal taste and it shows you what you want, not what the system is made to do. And all this is possible because of the algorithm. But why did the Middle East get held back for all these years? It used to be the most advanced place in the whole world for many centuries. Why did the birth of plenty of mathematicians and scientists just go down like this? Some say the main reason is because of the closure of the Silk Road by the Ottoman Empire, where they didn't let the knowledge from the West and the East to mix together. And that's what held back the Eastern part of the world because they weren't sharing information with the Western and the West built ships and went all over the world. 